He loves a three-wheeler <laughs> bike. But they're massive bikes. Oh, so we should get him one. They're like 700 quid. We should steal him one. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to probably the most ever requested most anticipated video in the history of this channel ever since we did part one this time last year people have been saying when are we going to get part two of Andy's story you're going to get it right now if you don't know what we're talking about for world autism awareness week or day or month there seems to be lots of flavours of it, but I think we actually <laughs> released it last year on World Autism Awareness Day on the 2nd of April. We're doing it a day early this year for reasons. But last year on World Autism Awareness Day, we released a video called Andy's Story, ages two to seven. If you haven't watched it yet, you should, you should go watch it. It's up in that corner. I think maybe that corner. It'll yeah, definitely born at two. Yeah, it'll, <laughs> it'll definitely be down in the description below. And we basically went through all the pictures we could find of Andy between the ages of two and seven. We call those the pre Kev years. They were the years that Anna and Andy were living alone over in Nottingham without me around. And uh, it we, we were. Is that true or not? I know. It was just. And it, it, we took it right up until the point of, right. You're just about to have your lives infinitely changed for the better because Kevin's about to arrive. And that's where we left the story off this time last year. But that leaves us with a gap because we've got Andy, age seven, just about to have his life changed for the better because I'm about to arrive. And then Andy at the start of the vlog in January 2017, aged 12, did we decide he was? When we worked well, it out. 15, so. Yeah. So we've got that gap between ages eight and 12, and that's the gap we're gonna fill in for you today. So just like last year, we've gone through the archives and got some photographs. It's a very different situation to last year. Last year, we showed you just about every photograph we could find. This year, between the two of us, we probably had about 3,000 photographs to go through. Just an utterly ridiculous number of photographs. Selfies so, and yeah, just little. Exactly, you can tell this is the also you can tell this also starts with roughly the time when people got iPhones and decent camera phones and Dropbox and cloud storage and you know you didn't you don't lose all your pictures when you got a new phone anymore like you used to. We've got well, SD cards a thing. Yeah, SD cards were a thing. So I had an SD card, but I didn't have any way of reading it, so uh, I've lost countless pictures. Well, I've got every photograph I've taken since 2008 on my Dropbox, so obviously I took a lot of these as well. So this isn't just pictures taken by Anna anymore. This is pictures we both took. I've got them here on the trusty laptop, and I will put them up on the screen for you lot to see as well. Same format as last year. We're going to have a look at a picture, and then I guess this time round, between the two of us, we can tell the story behind the photograph, and some of them don't have a huge story attached to them other than the fact they further the overall story or there's particularly important events taking part in them. But I think this picture, I think this is the first time the three of us ever went out anywhere together. Because this was taken at oh, a what? park in Nottingham. There you go, a park in Arnold in Nottingham. And we'd probably known each other a month, not maybe. Not, maybe not even a month. And we took Andy out to the park and there he is. No, notable by the fact that he's wearing a shirt, a collared shirt, which he doesn't wear anymore. From Primark. Yeah, he doesn't wear collared shirts anymore, though, does he? He's yeah. um, He's got a double chin and chubby cheeks, which he doesn't have anymore. Uh, but he's uh, smiling away, having a good time in the park, <laughs> isn't he? He's Doing an Andy smile. In his own way, yeah. But he, uh, we've got loads of pictures of that day because we just had a nice little day in the park. Just it was a sunny warm. day. It was, yeah, it was probably this sort of time of year. Yeah. It wasn't like the height of summer, but it was a really, really warm day. And we had a nice little time messing around at the park. I was on that park when I was younger. <laughs> <younger. laughs> Talking of parks, this is still before you moved in. Yeah. This is when you were on one of your many visits <laughs> to, to come and see us here. We, we went for a spell where... Anna and Andy would come and stay with us for the weekend or come and stay with us for sometimes midweek or in school holidays or towards the end of his time at his previous school he'd kind of started school refusal and we mm. were just bringing him here and you, you, you kind of moved in by stealth 
but this was on one of those trips and this is obviously a trip uh, a trip when the girls were off school as well we have a particularly young looking amy in this picture look how young amy looks yeah. um but that's in a park not far from where we live now andy cardigan up cardigan over his angry birds <laughs> Over his Angry Birds t-shirt. How do you know t-shirt. what that t-shirt is? I remember the t-shirt. And I've seen... <laughs> but he doesn't remember what he did last week. But, remember, I've gone through thousands of photographs over the last 48 hours. You just went through the couple of hundred you had on your phone. I have thousands on my phone. I had 10,000 photographs to go through in my Dropbox. <laughs> this one... <laughs> Look at you and your t- Anna in tidy little jean shorts, which is one of the reasons I wanted to put this photo in. Never little wear jean shorts. shorts. It was the thing back then. <laughs> it was. Um, but this, we're at East Midlands Airport. Yep. Here, um, just the other side of the fence. I don't, I don't think you can see any aeroplanes in the background. But, but they come above you. Basically. Yeah, they basically. Yeah, we're at the end of the runway, effectively standing yeah. there. I don't think you can park there anymore because no, they've redeveloped been, that whole yeah. area. But you used to be able to just sort of pull off the road at the end of the runway, park up and go and stand next to the fence. And we took him there a few times. Mm. You took him there loads more times yeah. than me, didn't you? But I went there a few times and he'd just stand <laughs> there and the planes would take off and land over us and Andy would absolutely like love it. Like you could throw a shoe at them. Yeah, oh yeah, they were. <laughs> they if, were. <laughs> if I had a drone, I could have caused <laughs> national <laughs> outrage by flying the drone um, yeah. higher than the planes yeah. easily. Same day, this next picture is the same day, uh, but I just want to show you how short he used to be. <laughs> so <laughs> small! So small! Um, I, yeah, I just can't believe how small he is I still in that, that picture. He still has that coat, I yeah. think. No, he does still have that coat. <laughs> or a coat identical to yeah. it. There's been several coats that we bought the I same the ones same. of in different yeah. sizes. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my jacket. That was no, like your shirt. Ja- it looks skin coloured. Oh, my t-shirt. I don't know what t-shirt that is. I, I didn't have a, I didn't have take the coat off in the photographs weirdly same day you're there in tiny little shorts I'm there wrapped up <laughs> coat on it walking boots yeah, on yeah but I had I had uh, tights on I had a cardigan I had you can layers. see how rough the weather is from the sky yeah. oh why <laughs> why would you have that why what's wrong with that what am I wearing ugh I don't know so you... basic so basic <laughs> <laughs> You were wearing a, it looks like a cricket jumper. Yeah, but yeah, I put, but I've talked about the boots. Oh, I see. Oh you used God. to wear those sort of boots all the time. Because they were comfortable, but oh my Lord. This one, look how short Lucy is. She's the same height as you. Amy looks like a tiny little thing. But the reason I picked this one is because he's actually looking oh, at the camera. Like and again, yeah, those pyjamas we bought the other day. Yeah, can't stand them. Mario pyjamas, won't wear them. There he is in a Mario Kart hoodie to show that even back then the love for Mario Kart touchdown. was real. And uh, yeah, he's having a whale of a time, just at the swings, having fun. And this is kind of what we spent that summer doing. That was kind of like the first year or so that he'd actually sit on a swing. He used to be in them like up to the age of... Seven. Okay. It was difficult. Getting I don't ever remember him being in those. No, so but yeah. Have been. I used to take him to the park and put him in the in the baby seat. You can see by the look on Anna's face, she's not that keen on us using this next photograph. But the re- what was he giving me? That's why oh, I wanted yeah. to include the photograph because this is the first evidence I could see anywhere of his first camera. So this is after he got oh, his first. That thing. Yeah, this is after he got his first DS. Because he'd been using a DS previously. He already had iPod touches that he was filming with. But this mm. is summer 2012. I still don't think you'd moved in at this point. So his birthday? I think, it, yeah, it was his birthday. I think we went to Stanton. But this was summer 2012. And that is a little Kodak flip camera thing. Very yeah, similar thing. to the one he's got now. I think that was his birthday present. Because I think he'd been using his iPod touch out and about. And he'd really got into filming stuff. So I think for his birthday... You got him that camera, and then that was our first trip out of it because it was his birthday trip to the seaside. So that was what this is. This photograph is the birth of Through Andy's Eyes because he'd got that camera for his birthday, and this was his birthday trip. And <laughs> yeah, there he is on the beach, taking his doing his filming. He's, I would have said the opposite. He doesn't, he's thinner now than he was in that picture, I think. He was very small then because he's as tall as yeah. you now, but he's got a bit of a belly on him in that picture. But yeah, the birth of the camera, the birth of Randy's eyes. His hair. <laughs> his hair. And that handbag, by the way, best handbag you ever used. Why don't you use that one anymore? Because it broke, Kevin. It was a brilliant handbag. And there he is. You've you've now moved in. 
So this is September 2012. Look how bare our living room is. This is before Anna got her hands on it and started covering the walls with stuff. Liar, look at that was you. That was got a that on. Bioshock poster that I already had up there. But this is Andy on his first day of school over in Lincolnshire. This was at his primary school, wearing a school uniform and as you can see, holding the 2DS that he still uses that one was now. That really 2012? Yeah, that, that only got replaced. This, yeah, well, in fact, in fact, we had two of those, didn't we? But oh, no, that... I went through for three of them. I send, <laughs> keep sending it back to yeah, them. Yeah, it got sent broke. back a few times, but it's only been replaced as a device this last Christmas, hasn't it? He used that one for yeah. a long time. And as you can see by his table as well, his diet hasn't changed much in seven years. Um, it's still caffeine-free Diet Coke and well, salt and vinegar Walker's crisps. He, was, he did eat a lot of biscuits, though, Yeah, well. there was other stuff in the diet as well, but... That stuff yeah. has been constant for as long as I've known him, that's for sure. It used to be cheese and onion french fries. <laughs> what? That's a huge up. change, yeah, cheese and onion salt and vinegar. Up. That's mad. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the spirit of diet not changing. As you can see, McDonald's has always been a popular destination for him. And a very tiny looking Amy again. I think this they, was... They do grow, you know. I know. We were on, I don't know, so you're saying this was Nottingham? It is Nottingham. I am very impressed you can identify a McDonald's like that. Where were we going? Do you remember? Would you say Nottingham? <laughs> the same reason we go to Nottingham all the uh, time. I guess. And enjoying a delightful McDonald's. <laughs> and loving life at home as well. The iPad exists. Um, we have got a video clip of him actually getting the iPad for the first time because when he moved from iPod Touch to iPad. I've not included any videos in this video because this video is already going to be an epically long video. We're just using photographs today. We might do another version later down the line where we include some of the old phone video clips, but none of them are great quality. They're all in portrait. So I'm not including them today, but this is post getting an iPad. Sitting on the sofa, I might add. He doesn't sit on the sofa very often. Uh, because there. Yeah, because he's not allowed to because he breaks it. I think this must have been before he started eating bits of sofa. Yeah. So we were less fussy about where he sat. As soon as he started to destroy one of them by basically picking it apart and eating it, that became where he sits. So he didn't destroy all the seating. But these two, wrapped up in blankets. He's still got that blanket yeah. now, hasn't he? He had that before we, I moved in. I got that from Skegness when I was on holiday with my mum. Very in popular 2007. blanket. 2007. Wowzers. That is an old blanket. Yeah. That must be one of his oldest possessions. Yeah. Dave has now decided to join us. So... Expect loads of background noise from him just walking around no, no. and knocking Sit. the camera. He knows as soon as you get the camera out that we're distracted by the camera, so he just walks around the room. Around that table. Yeah, just trying to get our attention, I think. So here we have another example of Andy out filming in public with a lesser spotted red-haired Anna as well. Which... I don't even know where I, when or when. Oh. Was this when you tried to dye it blonde, it went ginger, so you immediately dyed it red to cover up the ginger? Probably. Uh, but this is him out and about. Firstly, shorts. Doesn't wear shorts very often. Secondly, no. you can see he gave up on the camera fairly quickly that we got him for his birthday, because this is later in the same summer. Where is that? This is at Ferry Meadows in Peterborough with the min next to the miniature railway, but he's back using an iPod Touch for filming here. So mm. we were obviously we obviously tried to get him onto the camera, but yeah, I want my iPod Touch back. People always say, does he like being on camera? Does he like the filming side of things? He was a daily vlogger years before we started <laughs> daily vlogging as a family because he used to just film everything everywhere. Unfortunately, this is all back in the days where he used to delete everything at the end mm. of every day. So there's no evidence of the footage anywhere. But yeah, we were waiting for a miniature railway and he was filming... We were with Sheepdog that day. I think we were with Sheepdog that day. Mm. I think this might have been the day after MGPX that summer. I don't have red hair, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. No. Anyway, the woods. I've mainly picked Ball this woods. one. Yeah, I picked this because it's a really good photograph. I, I'm very good at it. Yeah, the, the colour balance and yes, whatnot. Yes. It's an excellent photograph. And just Lucy mugging Andy. I don't know what she's trying to take from him, but she's obviously snuck up I have, a, I have him. a lot of Lucy he's mugging him. him. <laughs> Looks very arty, especially with the bright red shoes shining out against all of the dark yeah. colour. I don't know if it's just my colour blindness making it look like such a good photo, <laughs> but to me, that looks like something out of a film. It's awesome. <laughs> that could be a movie poster. That's... And then we get to Christmas. Jeez. <laughs> um, he he's very excited that Santa's coming, clearly. Oh. Um, 
But yeah, he's smiling for the camera and then turning away because we've got a flash on probably. Where's all our uh, gubbins? That's what I mean. This is, you hadn't been here long. We hadn't, we hadn't spread all your stuff over everything at this point. Uh, but well, th that's all accumulated from here. Yeah. Amy, same size as Andy, shorter than Lucy still. Is that homemade mince pie? Of Kevin? course it's a homemade mince pie. What do you take me for? But once again, a top covered in faces. But they're not faces faces yeah. he doesn't mind angry well, it's birds. eyes normally he's, well i don't know he used to be really into angry birds i've not seen mm. him men he's not he mentioned angry birds for to, years when he goes to when we go to mcdonald's with the screens he plays it there oh yeah but he used to have so much angry bird stuff he loved it <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know yeah just smiling for the camera again and minecraft and eyes and minecraft Minecraft's hoodies different. yeah minecraft hoodies he's always been into and back at the woods again, different day, enjoying the woods, just having a fun family day out, doing woods things. No dogs. We used to go, yeah, was this before Dave? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awful. <laughs> I know, I don't want to include this picture anymore. I can't imagine life without, <laughs> without my little friend. Possibly, I don't know. That's awful. And there he is again in his natural habitat outside Peterborough Cathedral and as you can see back on the Kodak camera again mm, now so he was obviously well, rotating back and forth between the two there was a period of time and that's not documented because we weren't vlogging we were just taking pictures when it was fun to take a picture so some stuff we've not got any evidence of but we took him to the cinema in Huntingdon oh God, and he dropped day. his iPod touch and the screen shattered it was around this time now I suspect based on the evidence presented before me I suspect that because he's gone, here's your birthday present, it's a camera, and then, ah, I'm going back to my iPod, but now he's back on the camera again. I suspect this is not long after he smashed his iPod, and he's never gone back to iPod Touches. It's why he won't use a phone, an iPhone now. No. They're just, he's not interested. It's small. The smash, not interested. I'll use mm. an iPad. And when I'm out and about, he filmed with this until it broke. Oh, he ate it. Yeah, and then he started with the 2DS as his go-to camera, and that was in place all the way up to a year into the start of the vlog, wasn't it? Mm. He was still taking the 2DS everywhere, but this camera, for a while, he was... He went everywhere. He loved it. And we're at the seaside, and building a sandcastle. He's fully dressed on the beach this time. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was he a... Has, he has weird ways. <laughs> he does. Some, um, he, sometimes he just is not. He, there's there's been times we've taken him to the beach and it's been the middle of winter and, he and he's in, insisted in on taking off all his clothes and standing in the sea. There's like other waist times. Deep. Yeah, there's other time in the pouring rain as well. We've had and that. Sit, that sat there shivering. with coats on and he won't leave until we let him go and stand in. The, we haven't, believe it or not, no pictures of that. But then on the flip side of it, hot sunny day and clearly he's decided <laughs> he's keeping all his clothes on. So. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what causes the preference on different days, but there doesn't seem to be any pattern to it. But here's an example of him sat on the beach, fully dressed, but building a sandcastle. He's got a spade in his hand. Yeah. I don't remember this. I do. He's licking an ice cream. Do you know where it is? It's at Amy's primary school, yeah. or Lucy and Amy's primary school, Amy's at the school yeah. summer fete. Well, Lucy went there too. Yeah, but it went with Amy <laughs> yeah. and Lucy already gone. But, I mean, he's clearly not enjoying it by the look on his face, but I can't see him doing that now. He That's, wanted one. Yeah. So I, I bought him one. But I can't see him holding it. These days, he'll have a lick of something if we offer it to him, but I can't see him holding an ice cream and licking it. But yeah, he, he had a little lick and then oh, yeah. he didn't eat the ice cream, did he? He <laughs> ate the cone. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh, again, he's looking very stocky in that picture. It's a solid lad there. <laughs> this. Oh. I think this was just as he was leaving primary it was school. His last so we got to go in and take some pictures in his primary school. So for how long was he at that school? Two, Two years. This was his little work area. Um, so it was a specialist primary school. It's different to the school he goes to now. Um, he had his own little work pod with his name on the wall behind him. And you can see up the side, it's got his visual timetable, really, really detailed. Um, shows what day of the week it was, what he was doing in what order. It's got social stories on there. To, I can't even see what they were. They were helping him with various things. There's toilet on there and social stories for all the different stuff he needs to do during the day. But he loved that school. Mm. He never had a problem there. He Yeah, we did. He had a spell. I'm not going he, had, he had a week or two where he didn't go, but just by, by and large, mm. he had a great time there, loved it. 
And it but was, they were only a primary school. Yeah, so this was his last day and he had to move on. And there he is, posing in front of his in front of his desk on his last day. And then we had a little picnic at the back, didn't we? And the teachers and bad teachers. Yeah. So this would have been twenty fifteen. Somewhat like that. Yeah. Tw- yeah. Around then. There you go. There's his eleventh birthday. So a couple of days later. So he's had oh, his yeah, left. His birthday's always after, just yeah. after he finishes school. So he's left primary school, and now it's his eleventh birthday, and he's blowing out his candles. White DS there. Yeah, white DS iPad. I'm wearing very stylish flip flops, and he's uh, still on the sofa before we got the new chairs and whatnot. Look how clean the wall is. This is obviously before he started well, getting said, his fingers all it, over the but... wall. What's the point when he's just gonna finger it again and make it Don't. dirty? Just posing in his bedroom because why not very pleased with himself loving life that summer having a whale of a time that summer was possibly the happiest i ever remember him being just because he was he was having a great time at school but it had finished and he was having a great time at home we were doing all this fun stuff and yeah just happy you can tell he's about to start secondary school because he's (laughs) had his hair cut and there he is on his first day, again, wearing uniform, back when he used to agree to it. A little smile on his face, ready to go and start secondary school. It took him four months to start refusing to go there. <laughs> but he, uh, that day, he was, he was ready to go and he was reasonably happy about it. Again, double chin. Mm-hmm. This was just before he started refusing to go to school. So this was his first parents' evening and we got to go into the, the is this the 4D room? Yeah, because they were running behind. Yeah, oh, it's awesome. We just got to play in there, and I don't know. And I, There's loads of pictures of me and Andy both having lots of fun in this room, but I'm not going to include loads oh, of them. I have lots of pictures of yeah, Kevin. I liked it in there. It was great. And then we had Christmas again, Mario Top, wearing a Christmas hat, which he doesn't do anymore. He put, put it on for a second, but it comes off. But wearing a Christmas hat. Probably that why I got the, the picture then. <laughs> yeah. And there we are, hood up, DS, it still looks quite chilly, but he likes the beach. We went to the beach a lot. And that's, <laughs> there, that's the centre of Peterborough, I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, very long hair. Couldn't <laughs> cut it by himself, that's yeah, the problem. He was not. This was back when, in order to give him a haircut, we would literally have to pin him down. Mm-hmm. So, I would sort of sit on the edge of the chair with my arms around his arms, my legs around his legs. All stressful. Oh, it was a horrible experience. So he just didn't have his hair cut for a while. <laughs> this one, I had to see you take him to the, the park every day to get him out. Yeah. So this was while he was refusing school, wasn't it? And um, there's a lot of pictures very similar to this one. But yep. you can tell they're not all on the same day because he's got different clothes on. Every day. So, yeah, this was... Yeah, he'd be, he was refused. This was so. This was after he'd started refusing to go to school, yep. but before he'd started refusing to leave the house. Yep. So this was before the famous naked in the co-op incident. And yeah, you took him to the park every day just to get him some fresh air, get him outside. Watched a bus. Yeah, seems happy enough. No, yeah, no bus coming. <laughs> Hello. Hair getting ever longer though, and that is when that's at that his is. current school, isn't it? So yep. that's. That's when you used to take him in on the bus for the afternoon. Or no, they, no, the TA would pick me up. Yeah, so I was still working while all this was going on. Mm. But in order to try... So this was after he'd been refusing to go for about six months. There was a little spell where you got him back a little bit because the TA would come out and see you. And yeah. then you started going in with her in yeah. the afternoons. But you couldn't leave because if you left, he would... Uh, we moved up to me leaving, but that day yeah. wasn't. But... There he is in school, not them, obviously not getting involved in lessons, not getting, not doing anything particularly productive there, but just being at school. Doing his favourite thing, so the sensory garden and that bike. He loves a three-wheeler <laughs> bike, but they're massive bikes. Oh, so we should get him one. They're like seven hundred quid. We should steal him one. <laughs> <laughs> so this last picture is actually the day we did our first ever family vlog. It was we hadn't started daily vlogging. Um, we didn't start daily vlogging until the January, but the summer before we started daily vlogging, um, we did a family vlog on a trip to Skegness. So this was a trip to Skegness that summer, um, and Anna took a picture of the back of Amy. I told her, she wanted to play with the phone. I went, just stand there, and then you can, and she turned around. Because oh. I got Andy to stand still, and Lucy to sit. There we go. And Amy just... <laughs> and that was the day the vlog was born. And that brings us fully up to speed 
with Andy's story ages 8 to 12. We've got to figure out what to do next year for World Autism Awareness Day. Now we could either do the one that includes video clips or we could do, I guess by then, we'll have been doing the vlog for three and a half years, we could do ages like 13 to nearly 16 at that point and mm. do the next bit. Or we might finally show the baby pictures that Anna promised us last year. Well, you didn't want them. Well, no, I wanted to do the next part. I didn't want to go back in time. But that brings us to the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it was worth waiting for i've never done part two to a two-part series a year after part one before but these videos take a lot of preparation time it, we spent a lot of time getting all those photos together so hopefully it was worth it and you have enjoyed the video make sure as well that you keep an eye on the channel for the rest of this week and this month it's world autism awareness week world autism awareness month 7 a.m. every day this week, we're releasing a little standalone, quick, shareable autism video where we're answering a question to help raise autism awareness. And uh, obviously the daily vlog is continuing uh, all this week too. So if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. Making enough noise, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>